Florida, Georgia. Just a game as old as time. Georgia, Florida. What I say? You said Florida, Georgia. Oh, does it matter? It does matter. Oh, okay, my bad. I didn't know. Um, I don't think you ever told me that before. Oh, um, never, never. It's the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. It's in Jacks, Jacks Vegas, Jacksonville. Um, Aaron, you don't, you never. I'm sure no. You never got to like spend time in Jacksonville, right? This is a. Oh, I've been to a normal, game as a fan. No, oh, okay. How is it? What What is the scene oh, going to be like in Jacksonville this weekend? Oh, it's an incredible scene. It, it's not to the level of like Oklahoma, Texas, with a state fair. But it is, it is, uh, it is a beautiful sight. I will always remember, like, as a player driving over the bridge and seeing all the just tents everywhere. But all the red and blacks over here, the orange and blues on this side, it's just, it's a, it's a massive tailgate. It's a big party. It starts tomorrow. I mean, I have buddies of mine, you know, texting me, saying, Hey, we're flying down or driving down the St. <clears throat> St. Simon Sea Island, you know, party on the beach, yada, yada, yada. Wake Ooh. up Saturday, go to St. Go, go to Jacksonville tailgate go to the game go back to st simon's and then come back to atlanta on, on sunday it is four days they give off school the kids finish up i think thursday afternoon then they all jump on buses the fraternities they go to the beach for the day so uh yeah it's it's a beautiful sight beautiful sight oh man string gene says two hours away never been string sounds like you should probably go get after it mm -hmm. uh boom says graham mertz legacy game incoming how funny would that be for you jay well look that, that's a thing here um this is a 14 and a half point spread for a reason. Okay. I know Florida's record. Actually, Florida's record looks shockingly good right now. Okay. Five, two, three and one in the SEC. If you just came down and looked at them and then you saw Graham Mertz stats, you would think, oh my God, this is actually kind of a good Florida team. Uh, I know you kind of still think that, or I don't want to put words in your mouth. I think you still think that, Aaron. I do not. I do not think this Florida team's any good. Um, I think. Mm. You've heard of the gator death spiral, like when an alligator gets you in its jaws and it starts to spin to wear you out and kill you. Uh, have you heard about the gator death march? Because that's what mm -hmm. the end of the season is going to be. As mm -hmm. they put Georgia, Arkansas, which whatever, but then at LSU, at Mizzou, at home versus FSU. So you're talking about four or five games against top 15 teams in the entire country. It, it is about to go really poorly for Florida. I think this is where it starts. I think Florida's a mm -hmm. bit of a gator, if you will. And the thing that I am most interested in, kind of like the Auburn game, is once again, I'm interested in Georgia. How does Carson Beck look? Sans Bauer, Brock Bowers. Does he actually do what you and Colin Wilson and Josh Pate and all you smart football guys seem to think that Georgia's actually going to get better and more explosive in some ways does that actually happen? Once again, I did not say better, explosive, more explosive. If, if you think more explosive is better than okay in your mind, then, then yes, Georgia's offense could be more explosive. I, I'll disagree with you there. Like I think Florida is a good football team. They're not a great football team. It's a good football team. Are they a good you, football team if they finish like seven, seven and five? Because that's the question. Because I don't mm. think that is good. I don't think, especially by Florida standards, that's not good. Florida mm. good at Year the two. fair. At the bare minimum, and with the year two mm. leash, eight and four has mm. to be. I mean, come on, bro. Come on. It's Florida. I, the, the schedule has gotten significantly harder for, for 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 the entire SEC over the past two weeks. Like, we've seen teams all of a sudden emerge, and you're like, okay, I didn't realize the SEC. It's not as dominant as it's been, but it's better than maybe what I thought it was two or three weeks ago. So, like, I do take that into account. Like, if you – you know, if you do lose to Georgia, LSU, Missouri, and Florida State, you know, obviously Florida State, PNAC, like those are games you should lose. Doesn't make it make you a bad team. <clears throat> Three of those teams could be all in, in contention to win their conference, and, and two of them to be in the college football playoff. So, like, am I going to call you a bad team because you lost to those teams? No, I'm not going to call you a bad team. Those no, teams I'm going to call elite. you a bad team because you got your ass kicked by Kentucky. They had one bad game. Kentucky's not any good. They had you one got bad your game. ass kicked by Utah. Now, Utah is good, so there's no great shame yes. in that. Yeah. Uh, but still, it's Utah without Cam Rising. No, look, man, I, I I don't – you know what? No, 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 fuck that. I don't even think it comes mm – -hmm. it doesn't need that much context. No, Seven they're five not a bad not team. Florida. Seven to five is not good. Eight and four, okay. sure. Okay. Then I can maybe yeah. call them a good team. I think um, they're a good team, too. I think they have good pieces. I like the running backs. The, the, the keys for the game, if there's going to be some miraculous – win an upset for the Florida Gators. You have to run the football. You have two talented backs and those guys have been inconsistent as hell this entire season. It ain't on them. It's on the offensive line. 
can you push around this Georgia defensive line that has not been the Georgia defense line that's been for the past two years? Like if they yeah. can get Johnson and ETN going a little bit, don't put Graham Mertz in situations where he has to take a three five you know three five set drop with a couple hitches and, and from gun. He's he's great at getting the ball out on time and, and accurately. Persall's great. The guy that I'm going to have my eye on is, is Eugene Wilson. He's a, he's a freshman. He's an absolute stud. He's now played half a season. You're going to see his production hopefully go up if you're a Florida Gator fan. Can you get him the ball in space on nice quick hitters and convert first downs? The secondary for Georgia is too good if you think you're going to win third and long situations. They're just too good. So like the run game for Florida has to get going early. And and, up, and on the other side of the football, like I'm interested to see, we, we we talk about Georgia's offense being more explosive. The weakness for Florida is their secondary. They're young. They got a true freshman playing at the safety position right now. They got a couple other young guys playing throughout that 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 back end. Can they match up with now the experience of of what Carson Beck has been able to prove to us this year so far? And I still believe a pretty darn good receiving core. So like, can you match up with those guys? Can you limit the explosives? Because I know Bobo. I said it yesterday. Bobo's DNA: run the football, play action, take shots. Without Brock Barrows, that's gonna go. That's that's gonna be his bread and butter. Can you prevent the big time plays defensively with those young guys in a big time moment in a, in a, in a rivalry game on a neutral site? The problem is uh, Florida. Just they're not gonna be able to score. Now, now I'm very intrigued to see the, Vanderbilt the, scored. Vanderbilt scored on Georgia. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Just, I guess. Just gonna I guess, throw it out. Yeah. There. No. I guess, like, I, okay. Fair. I'm just saying. I, I guess what I'm saying is though, like again, it's that weird thing where like you're talking about. Ooh, Florida has you know two good running backs, and they got to run the ball. They're tenth in the SEC in rushing. Grant Mertz has pretty good stats. Know. They're tenth in the or ninth in the SEC in points per game mm -hmm. at like 29. So like we're kind of grasping at straws. Where you're not grasping at straws is defensively. They're pretty legit. They only give up 20 a game. Yeah. Uh, they're fifth in the conference. They're the third best pass defense in the conference. So if I'm a Georgia fan, I kind of like this matchup because you should win. Like It's not like you're at a great threat of losing. You're nearly 15-point favorites. But where are you kind of insecure right now? What your passing game looks like post-Brock Bowers. Well, if you come out and you do very well against a pretty salty Gator pass defense, Who's, then I feel like who who have the Gators played defensively, or, or what offense have the Gators played that that has a passing offense? Yeah, Utah doesn't. Kind of true. McNeese true. doesn't. Be... Tennessee, Tennessee does not have a passing offense this year. It's yeah. all running. We've seen enough. Charlotte, no. Kentucky, no. Vanderbilt, no. The only team that that it can throw the ball for a damn that they've actually played this year. South in Carolina. South Carolina and Spencer Rattler threw for 313 yards and four touchdowns. Yeah, so you're right. That's all a bit of a paper tiger situation. Or again, yes. a false, a false rating situation. Anyway. Okay, so never mind. You're right. Florida sucks. You can't learn anything in this game, Georgia. <laughs> Just don't uh, lose. It's a good call. Just don't lose. You're not don't gonna lose. lose. Who's gonna who's gonna okay? Who's gonna step up most? Uh Ra Ra Thomas, who are we thinking? Or excuse me, like Ra Ra love it. Who are we thinking? Um I think both of them have shown. I want to see Lad. Like this is to me, Lad has been limited, obviously, with with the injury still the past few games. He he came in in key situations versus Auburn. He should be fully healthy. Like this is Lad's moment to shine. Like I was the returning guy along with Brock. We were the one-two punch. I've been out now. Brock is out now. It's my time to take over that that you know number one receiver for Carson. He should be the receiver that Carson has the most chemistry with too. So. It's time for him to play like the all SEC receiver. Georgia fans were hoping he would be heading into the season before the injury. Uh, Cameron Scholl, who says he's a doctor, says you need a small round of a silver for your shingles, help prevent post herpetic neuralgia. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I feel like that means that my brain may something may go wrong with my brain. Uh, so let me let me let me know if I'm right or wrong there, Cameron. I'll I'll tell I'm going to tell the doctor that and try to sound very smart. Uh, all right, that's Georgia, Florida, world's largest after a cocktail party. I think Georgia rolls. I think this is the beginning of the end for Florida. Like I said, um, and again, let's just see who steps up. Why why are you giving me that look? Why is it not? I think I I, I took it the wrong way. At the beginning of the end for like this season, but I oh, do yeah, yeah, think no, they're moving. In the, I think no, overall no, 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 no. Napier's no. he's got them in the right track. Um, I'm not going to go that far. I don't think he's going to get fired, but I'm not going to go that far. I, I don't know why you're so impressed with the recruiting. Well, 
Number they are recruiting well. Recruiting. The Gator Collective seems to at least be doing very well gathering money for recruiting. 